to our monthly update and um, you know believe it or not here we are in November and we're still in shorts and flip-flops and bathing suits and enjoying the lake uh, because it's been 80 degrees lately absolutely phenomenal weather as it is again today so uh, again the beauty about Lake Kiwi is because we do have days like this it takes a while for the water to to get cold in the winter and it you certainly can come here in december and swim in this lake without any problem um you know especially if you get a nice day there are going to be fronts that are moving through that you have a day in the 60s and the 70s you can be out on the jet ski uh skiing whatever and enjoying this lake and that's the beauty of it and then you're back in the lake uh probably mostly i'd say mid-april it gets pretty comfortable again to end of april so get a lot of time to use it uh, during the year. One thing we do want to talk about is there have been some new permitting and licensing, I guess, on the Duke Power Plant. And because of that, they've done some things as far as lake management services. And in fact, one of the things that they're going to do for just a short window of time, and it basically started uh, about a month ago, is they are going to allow certain people to what they call chase the water and uh, because they may potentially can drop the the lake a little bit lower which i don't really see any reason that'll ever happen but what they're going to do is they're going to allow you to apply to potentially extend your ramp and add up to 200 square feet of additional ramp or you know dock area i guess to move your dock out into deeper water now what has to happen is you have to be in an area kind of like we are right here where if you look down it's kind of shallow at the front of the dock and it can't be over a certain depth and uh, at the front and at the back of the dock and then if if duke comes out and they look at it and they determine that you are a candidate you can then move your dock out another however many feet that might be, maybe 30 feet, maybe 40 feet, maybe only 10 feet. But um, it's something that during the year of 2017, if you send in your application starting January the 1st, there will not be a fee for that application process. Uh, you might want to go to the Lake Management Services website on, uh, on um, you know, the internet concerning Lake Kiwi to understand the full rules of that. But anyway, just wanted to bring that up. As we always do, let's talk the numbers. Uh, right now, 474 waterfront lots available in the market. There are 25 pending, 138 have sold this year, and uh, the, the average sales price is 247,910. Out of the 138 that have sold, again, we're involved in, I believe it's 29 of those sales as the listing agent or listing company, either full list or co-list. And, um, you know, that's about one-fifth of everything in the market. There's somebody calling me about the dock already. So we'll shut that one down for now. Um, there were 145 waterfront sales last year at this time, so we're down about seven sales. The average sales price last year was at 267,676. So there's about a $20,000 difference right now, uh, down from where it was last year. So we'll see how December plays out uh, and see where the numbers end up at the end of the year in January when we come back to you. Homes, 171 active waterfront homes, um, 25 pending right now, 159 waterfront homes have closed this year. The average sales price was 663,064. Uh, last year by this time it was 171. Oh, how to get this call? This is the dot guy. As I was saying, there were 159 uh, houses sold up till now, last year 141, so that's 18 more homes have sold this year. The average sales price again went from 689 last year down to 663 uh, this year, so it's down 3.9 percent on those. So I guess again uh, the numbers, you know, we've had a great year. Uh, we're going to be moving the winter. Things are going to slow up some, although we still have a number of appointments. In fact, I've got one I got to get to here in a minute. Um, so. You know, again, the weather's great. The winter, as you move into it, it's a great time to buy. Seller's going to have a little more motivation because we are moving to the winter months. They know it's going to get a little bit slower. So if you're looking for a good deal, and I think the best time probably to see the property is during the winter time. So give us a call at 800-682-9098 to set it up. And if you're looking to list a property, now's also the time to be getting ready to do that. You might have a lot. It might be overgrown. It's a great time to go ahead and underbrush it because that underbrush will stay during the entire winter, really pretty much 
much through the spring all the way into the summer before it gets too bad where it's hard to walk again. So it's a great time to get that property on the market. Again, call Rick Miller for rentals, 864-784-9977. Uh, we look forward to seeing you next month. Go Tigers 8-0. Uh, a month from now, let's see, we should be at the end of the season. Hopefully we'll be 12-0 on our way to the ACC Championship and then to the national title. See you then.